The tag team action oh. underway here. Ooh, nice Russian leg sweep. Face buster. And here's the lockup. Look at these two jockeying for position. Absolutely planted. You gotta believe this one's over. Here's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Oh, right to the back. Oh, what impact. Most of the truly great tag teams in sports entertainment created a double team finishing maneuver. The spike pile driver from Anderson and Blanchard, the heart attack from the Hart Foundation, the rocker dropper from the Rockers, or the doomsday device from the Road Warriors. A team needs to have a tag team finisher and be able to execute that finisher on all types of opponents. A few moments ago, you mentioned some of the great tag team finishing moves in sports entertainment history. Don't forget about the 3D from the Dudley Boys or the double drop kick from the 2017 WWE Hall of Famers, the Rock and Roll Express. In tag team action, like in singles competition, once a duo nails their opponent with their finisher, that should signal the beginning of the end. It can take a long time for a tag team to decide on a double team finisher, but I agree. A team needs one, and it should be something that can be administered to any opponent. That's when a finishing move is truly effective. And since we're talking about tag teams, remember you and your partner have until the referee's five count to execute the move. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing creates separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Corey, you touched on this before. Part of a tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their way to their partner when they need to tag out. One way to do that is to create that separation you spoke of so they have some space to gather themselves and time to make their way back to the corner. You're absolutely right, Michael. What's the use of having a tag team partner if you're not able to get to them when you got to tag out of the match? Getting that separation is key in breaking any momentum your opponents could have may be the difference between a win and a loss, maybe even more. I've made it quite clear how offensive I find Bailey's hugs, but I will admit the Bailey to Belly suplex will take you right out of your boots. What a strike! And now it's Bailey on her heels. Her and her partner aren't going to let this derail them, though. She's putting up quite a fight here, Cole, but despite that, now is probably a good time to look for the tag. Well, she's looked good up until now. She just has to make sure not to absorb too much punishment here if she wants to get back into this thing. It's perfect that Bailey's big move, the Bailey to Bailey, shows just how precise and powerful Bailey can be. When the hugger plants the opposition with her twist on the classic suplex, it's all over. I remember when Bailey gave Nia Jax a super Bailey to Bailey off the middle rope in NXT, and when Bailey was on Team Raw, the 2016 Survivor Series, the Bailey to Bailey on Becky Lynch sealed the victory for her team. Hugs all around. The Fox got out of there in time. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If a team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. Beautiful technique. The two out of three falls matches saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus. It was a throwback of sorts. 
Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls format. Cesaro and Sheamus didn't waste any time and scored the decisive first fall after a broke kick rocked Jeff Hardy. Cesaro and Sheamus wanted to continue their domination of Team Extreme, but the Hardys had other ideas as Matt tied things up at one fall apiece after a twist of fate on the Swiss cyborg. After a swanton bomb by Jeff Hardy, the match broke down and the third fall was ruled. Uh-oh. In position. Look out. Here it comes. Oh, almost through the turnbuckle. Nice. Shut it down. For many years, members of the WWE Universe and the WWE locker room have felt that tag team matches should have two referees. One referee is in the ring overseeing the action, and the other is located out on the floor, making sure teams follow the rules and do not engage in potentially damage. Oh, and she makes the tag. And not a moment too soon, Michael. Byron, earlier you raised a point that people have been talking about for years, and that's a second referee being appointed to tag team matches. I remember WWE Hall of Famer and former WWE President Gorilla Monsoon used to express his strong advocacy for two referees being appointed to tag team matches. Uh, it's something that's been talked about for decades, Michael, and I don't think it's ever going to happen. We've seen it on occasion, but I think it's best to let the superstars be responsible for themselves. In order to be a premier tag team, a superstar and their teammate must have that continuity where they're a well-oiled machine inside the ring. I'm talking about classic techniques like cutting the ring in half, isolating your opponent, relegating them to your corner, and making frequent tags so that the fresh man is always in the ring. That's how you keep your opponents off balance. Corey, a few moments ago, you took a... Uh-oh, look at this. Oh, boy. And there's that corner exploder suplex. Wow, the crowd's on the edge of their seats. Oh, here it comes. Bailey. Bailey to Bailey. But can she follow up? That is a huge opening for Bailey. One, two, and she kicks out. Not yet. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. You know, I've known Bailey for a long time, and it pains me to say how susceptible she is to being betrayed. For some reason, her trust and kindness become a weakness that many superstars have exploited. And she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. I think she's trying to prove a point here. Observing how Bailey is constantly being betrayed as Byron did has given her a reputation as a pushover among the women in WWE. I think her desire to be everyone's friend holds Bailey back from making history of her own. Bailey hooks her up. Oh my gosh! That's how you put an exclamation point on. Can she keep her down? Where is she finding the strength to continue? Wow. Oh, the reversal by Alicia Fox. When Bailey finally made it to her first WrestleMania in Orlando, her reality outdid her dreams. Walking in as the Raw Women's Champion, the Huggable One had a boss, a queen, and an irresistible force to overcome. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at her go! And Bailey evades that one. Nailed it. The impact. I don't know how much more Jinder Mahal can endure. I don't think this is how she envisioned this tag team match going. Jinder knows about changing paths in his career. Now he needs to change paths in this match. We've seen some great tag team action over the years here in WWE, and I can't oh, really the belly. That has got to be it.
how these superstars are even still in this match is beyond me, especially given how intense the match has been. What a strike! Bailey's legs looking feeble. She could be on her way out of this one. Her tag team partner has to be concerned at this point. Given what they've shown us here tonight, it's a shame that one of these women will have to walk away on the losing. Oh, oh man, Bailey's gonna need a hug after that. Russian leg sweep. Nah, I like this. Nothing wrong with enjoying your work. This one is over. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. And we have our winners. I can't remember a tag team match in recent memory that was even close to as good as that one was. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. When any superstar, man or woman, is able to find a way to win a match as entertaining and action-filled as that one, they should be grateful and really proud. Some great stuff. Here are your winners, Alicia Fox and Jinder Mahal. Another exciting tag team match in the books. These women make an almost unstoppable pairing, Michael. Guys, I have to say, that was an amazing match.